So where my heart goes when it comes to leadership, um, I've got to say, life is not a solo sport. Let that just sit in. Then why do we have a tendency of thinking that we're running solo? Why do we work so hard to figure it out on our own? Why do we think that we're an island and I can't figure out how to navigate the next corner? When it's not a solo sport and we're all like, yeah, no, it's not a solo sport, then why do we run like it is? Kind of an interesting thought. And you say, okay, well then, well, then who would I need to run with? If it's not a solo sport, who am I going to run with? Isn't it funny that your family members sometimes are not the best people to run with? How about some of your friends? It's like there's some friends I would have this conversation with, but then that friend I'm going to have this conversation with, and I'm not going to mix the two. So we're really not running together, are we? Because you don't know this part of my life, and you don't know that part of my life, so you really don't know all of me, do you? So how do you speak into my life to be able to walk with me? So isn't it interesting how we hide, and then we say we have a lot of friends? And in our world, with a lot of social platforms, we feel like we're talking to a lot of people, are we? And if we are talking to a lot of people, how, how deep is that? How far does that really go? Do you have somebody in your life that allows you go to go to the nth level of depth that actually knows you? And I could even take a risk here and say this, that even though our spouses are probably know us better than anybody else, they see us in 3D, right? They see us better than anybody. We only see ourselves in 2D. Sometimes our spouses don't, aren't that person. Or they know us at this great depth, but there are certain things that now we can't talk about. And where, do, where do we go, right? Where do we go in those situations? So it's not a solo sport. God made us to be in unity. He made us to be in community. And how do we move forward and navigate this thing called life? Is there anybody here that might uh, not be tired of the division that we have in our country right now? Anybody not tired of that? It's like, oh no, I thrive in this stuff. It's so awesome. I love doing the blue and the red and the black and the white and the brown and the mask and unmask, the vax, the unvax, the whatever it is that we want to get divided over. When in, when in reality, you look at a person and you look in their eyes and they're just the person, right? There's a human dignity and they're struggling and we're messy. We're messy people. None of us have our act together, right? We, none of us do. So who do we run with? Who do you run with? So I am part of C12 and we are about trying to bring like-minded Christian CEOs together to figure this out and run with one another. And I want to just do a call out on Brent to be able to say, the, the, the heart of the matter of this place, I only have five minutes, right? Am I, is my five minutes up? So one more, right? Because now I'm about to talk about connected. What a beautiful thought and what a beautiful idea to be able to say, I would like to be able to create a space, kind of a, an upper room feeling, a place where I can go and I can ask questions and get answers and my answers can get questioned. And I can wrestle with this thing called life and I can figure it out and I can maybe be a light to others, and I will be filled in some way, and I will be a better leader, I will be a better husband, I will be a better wife, I will be a better student, I will be a better fill in the gap. And so I applaud him for trying to create a space on that foundation. And I'm really excited that in C12, there will be 82 CEOs starting next month floating in and out of these halls every single month, right? And what a great to be able to rub shoulders with folks that maybe have been there, but you know what? They need you too, because you may have the answer to what it is they're struggling with, and how do we have those honest conversations? So whatever position you're in, wherever you're at, my challenge to you is to be able to say, ask yourself, who are you running with? And are you running with the right people? There is a proverb in there that says that God can tell you where you're going to end up. 
by based upon who it is that you're running with. So pick well, choose well, maintain dignity in human beings, and press forward. Anyway, there we go. Bless you. That's what I got. Mm -hmm.